Welcome everybody back to the channel. In this video, we hop inside game and I showcase a strategy inside of Liberty Falls that allowed us to rank up three, four times a game. And within about 20 minutes, you can get about 30,000 XP. So it's definitely a very good and efficient strategy to use inside your game right now to prestige very, very quickly. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel and enjoy the video. All right, welcome everybody back. So today we're gonna be doing a new strategy inside of Liberty Falls that I have actually been liking a lot more than doing on the rooftop, which both of these strategies can work just fine. I don't really know which one I would prefer on high rounds, but I know for kind of just grinding in the beginning from round zero to 30, this one can definitely be pretty quick as well, which is helping kind of unlock camos a lot faster and stuff kind of of that nature. Now, first off in these games, we do wanna just keep the Rampage Inducer on and start flying through these rounds. I took typically recommend keeping the rampage inducer on the entire game if you can manage sometimes it is just not easy to play with the rampage inducer on uh, so you always can turn it off but to me it just makes the games go by quicker which in turn gives you faster XP which also gives you faster augment progression camo progression all that stuff right but all right, we got to start clearing out these zombies. I say we should leave spawn around round seven. I think that's going to be the best time that we can actually get out of here. Just because we'll have enough essence to kind of go pack a punch, open doors, kind of get 100% set up and all that stuff. But uh, okay. Kill these guys. What power up is that? An insta kill. We can save that. There's a zombie right there. We have a crawler. Okay. Next round starting, we can just grab this insta-kill real quick. Taking these guys down, keep trying to get these critical kills for this SMG so we can finish this bad boy up today. This is my last SMG. Then I have my shotguns pretty much done. I have a lot of my ARs done. Launchers are already done. Definitely moving quick through these camos, that is for sure. Okay, there was round three. Round four starting right now. We almost have 5k. Yeah, we definitely do need a lot more essence, though, to kind of get started. I, I feel like playing in the spawn can definitely be pretty quick if you can do it the right way. For sure. All right. Yeah, we're just going to stay here for a few more rounds until we have a decent amount of e er, uh, essence, and then we're going to get out of here. Just got a few zombies left for round seven. We can keep picking up some of the salvage. Uh, should we just save one? That would probably be ideal. Is there any extra salvage? No. Here's an insta-kill. Okay, we can start opening up this door right here. Definitely help us out a little bit going this way. The other way is nice, but I, I usually kind of just prefer to go this way. I'm not sure if one way is better than the other, but it, it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and open this. We can upgrade our gun's rarity. So we can do this, bada bing. And then we can go all the way over here, 20 meters away, which is not far whatsoever. Also, I'm going to be releasing a few high round strategies very, very soon for you guys. So you guys can do that as well and get yourselves some world record runs. We can go ahead and open up this door right down here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and end this round. Uh, where is this zombie? He's somewhere around here. So one of the strats I like to use actually is sitting in Liberty Falls. This room is dangerous okay but the thing about this room is it seems like the spawns in here are insanely quick like insanely quick especially with the rampage inducer on it's like you can fly through these rounds <laughs> almost quicker than anywhere and at the end of the day that's what you want you want to be able to go to round 30 as fa as soon as possible now again this area can be pretty dangerous to train in but i think the more time you put inside of this room the easier it's going to be for you i have been doing this a lot recently and it's helped me grind say gold for a lot of my guns a lot quicker than sitting on the rooftop for some reason like we already have the full round nine spawned in right here and as well with the rampage inducer it just speeds everything up which, again, just makes everything so much easier. So there we go. That's er, round eight. That's round eight. Actually, we can go through another round, and then we can go buy perks. But yeah, so for this run, I am going to train in here all the way to round 30, or whenever I decide to exfil. And that's going to be the goal, and we'll see, I mean, how much we'll rank up at. It definitely will not take us long to rank up a few times, get our camos unlocked and all this good stuff. But uh, we will see. So we just want to keep training around here. Obviously, you're just going to want to get your perks. You're going to want to do everything you humanly possibly can to try and stay alive. Whether you want to get chopper gunners, 
or whatever. You know, chopper gunners are super clutch if you're playing because you can just call them in and those zombies will attack you. So there we go. There's round nine. We can... Let's just do another round, then we'll go buy perks. And then, yeah. So I'm going to do this strategy until... A later on round and then we'll end the game and we'll see how much XP we earned how many levels we earned and just kind of go from there it's definitely a very good strategy and you can pair this with say the rooftop strategy as well like you could do the rooftop for a little bit you can do this for a little bit you can do the rooftop on high rounds you can do this on high rounds whatever you guys prefer but I definitely feel like this strategy has way quicker spawns than anywhere else and it's so easy to get every single zombie trained up than other places in this area and this is probably one of the less scary places to be <laughs> i mean come on killing zombies at a bowling alley life doesn't get much better than that so again we're gonna go through a few rounds and i will see you guys when we are finished all right so we are currently on a vermin round we're on round 22 this only took me about i don't know maybe 15 minutes to get here it didn't take long at all we already ranked up a few times this game but we are going to go hit this exfil. We're going to see how good this strategy can truly be in only a matter of about 20 minutes long. So we're going to take the extra salvage we have. We're going to go ahead and we don't have a chopper gunner because we just prestige. But what we can do is say we can buy a sentry turret or a hellstorm. We'll just buy this. Whoa! Get me out of here. I forgot all the zombies that spawn. <laughs> that is crazy. Look at how many there are. Okay, we can rewrap back around. And then go up top over here. Hopefully we don't fail this exfil because we're going to get extra XP for it. it. It definitely is not easy to do an exfil in the game. I do recommend a chopper gunner, but unfortunately, again, I did prestige. So I didn't really have the luxury of doing that. Let's do this cruise missile or hellstorm. We have three shots we can do. All the way down. Okay. Don't know how many zombies I killed. Quite a bit. We really got to focus on the abomination. I think. That's going to be number one. We need to go buy some ammo real fast. Energy mine. There we go. We got only a few seconds to finish this up. Get the abomination. Come on. Oh, we got him. Wait, 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 wait. Did I get it? <laughs> yes, I got it. Dude, right at the last second. Oh my gosh. That was actually intense. Okay, let's go ahead and see how much XP we earned for this game. All right. Let's see, we we're connecting online services, so we went from 11 all the way through 12, all the way through 13, and 14 is where we left off. In a matter of 20 minutes, we got over 28,000 XP and got us a ton of ranks. So this definitely is a very good strategy to do for your games. Now, obviously, I understand that I am a low rank, but still. We're still earning a ton of XP, almost 30k by round 22, so it's definitely very good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I am out. Have a good one. Peace.